everybody and welcome to this week's Hope video notices. My name is Matt, I'm the priest here at Hope Church Islington and we're in October now and I've got two things to tell you about which are coming up at the end of this proper autumnal month. Uh, the first of which is happening on um, October the 30th, Sunday, October the 30th. We're going to be holding a service of thanksgiving to remember those who have died. This is a service that we try to hold every year around um, All Saints Day on November the 1st. And we tend to invite anybody who we've held a funeral for in the past year, invite them to come and remember uh, the, the loved ones who they've lost together with us. But it is open to anybody. It's open to anybody who wants to come and use that space. Anybody who wants to bring somebody who was close to their heart, somebody who they've lost, and remember them in this short service. It's, uh, it's normally only about half an hour, maybe 40 minutes, with lots of space for quiet and meditation and reflection and normally an act of remembrance as well. So you are very welcome to join us if that would be a useful space for you. It's happening, as I say, here at St. Mary Magdalene's on October the 30th, Sunday, October the 30th, from seven in the evening, probably for about half an hour. If it is a helpful space for you, please do join us. And of course, the other thing which is happening around All Saints Day or all Hallows Day is All Hallows Eve, or as we've come to celebrate it, Halloween. And, uh, and last year, Mary and Fran, our community team, um, took to the gardens uh, to, to, to run a pumpkin trail, an event for the families in the area who want to get dressed up and they want to go out and kind of make a warm, hospitable place to come and celebrate the festivities of Halloween. Uh, and we were joined by, I think, about 500 people, little kids dressed up as sheep and minions and skeletons and pirates and all of the rest of it. And the garden had had such a lovely buzz to it. It was such a great opportunity to connect this community, to connect with our neighbours. And so we want to do that again. And so on Halloween itself, on October the 31st, we're going to be um, holding some kind of trail or event in the gardens immediately after school. So um, the first question is, are you available to help out with that? Sometime between kind of four, five, six, seven o'clock, somewhere in those hours, if you've got an hour or two and might help us come and greet our neighbours, come and, come and enjoy the festivities with them and give us a shout because the more the merrier and it's such a great opportunity to get to know some of the people in this community, in this neighbourhood. And then the other thing is we have this idea for the, for the pumpkin-y, trail-y Halloween event, we'd love to actually carve some pumpkins. We don't want to go and buy a bunch of plastic pumpkins to decorate and then send them to landfill or just generally destroy our planet with more and more plastic. And so we want to get real pumpkins and we want to carve them. And we think we need about 20 to have like any kind of effect. And we'll put like little candles and things in them. But this is a little bit contingent on whether you can help us because we're not going to sit around carving 20 pumpkins. And so we are proposing on Saturday, the 29th of October, if you are into stabbing up gourds and like carving pretty faces and maybe we're going to write a word that says like Hope Church or, you know, something glorious like that, then, uh, <laughs> then if you're into that, then please let us know. Because if we can get, say, eight, nine, ten... 20 volunteers, then we would love to carve these pumpkins and put them out there. Um, as I say, we're thinking that it'd be good to do it on Saturday the 29th of October, maybe 10 till 12, but you need to let us know because we're we're not going to do this if we don't have any volunteers and that's also totally fine. So let us know if you're interested. You can do this in two ways. One, there is a sign up sheet in the foyer on the welcome desk. Um, it says at the top of it, are you a pumpkin? It's not really asking you if you're a pumpkin, it's asking you if you're interested in carving pumpkins, so you're gonna have to get your head around that. Number one, you can write your name on there. Alternatively, our good old QR code buddy, you can scan this with your phone, there's a button there that also says, are you a pumpkin? So click there, let us know if you're interested, and we will give you all of the details. We would love to have some pumpkins in the garden, so let us know if you are on board with us. Um, I think that's all from me today. Have a really good week and I hope to see you very soon.